I have a call from an inmate at the state. In California. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. To accept this call, say or dial 5 now. Thank you for using. Uh, hi, this is Joseph and Sarah. I'm in Corcoran, California. Um, I'm looking for a pen pal or anybody that's interested in being my bestie. Um, I'm just trying to get my life together. I would like to have a good girl or someone to talk to, a pen pal, would be cool. Um, I have, I'm have a so if you can, I got a tablet. You can just, uh, just basically email me. Um, thank you, I appreciate it. Bye. Okay, so what'd you go by? What? Uh, where'd you go by? What? Uh, lunatic. What's your nationality? This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. Right. Were you ever part of any gangs, groups, organizations? Yes, I was. Can you clarify exactly what group or gang that is? Uh, Paco a gangster. We from out here in the streets. San Fernando, Canoga Park. Can you uh, elaborate on your childhood and your upbringing, and uh, what led you? Uh, um, what eventually led you to get involved in the gang lifestyle? Um, basically, from a young age, I was around a lot of drugs, and uh, basically seeing my mom, and my dad, and stuff using so. I wanted to start finding out how uh, it felt because I seen them always high, so I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try it. So I started getting high and started hanging around my homeboys and shit, and then one thing led to another, and uh, I basically started coming to prison. And then when I, I came to prison, um, I started putting work in for uh, my my gang, basically. Um, basically, we're we're outnumbered the whites. Um, so we're a minority in here. So basically, you have to keep your head up, and, and, and basically, you're fighting everybody, especially in juvenile hall, because a lot of people are fighting life, and they're a bunch of young kids that don't give a fuck. This call and your telephone number will be monitored and recorded. So they, it, it, it's it's bad on movements when you when you leave. So I think the worst part is when when you go back to your cell block and go into your cell got a bunch of people right there, blacks and, and, and Mexicans from different gangs and shit, jamming you up, asking you where you're from, this and that, all this shit, and then they'll run in after you, and they call it, they call it, uh, basically DPing, but back th over there, in like juvenile hall and stuff, it's not really a DP, it's just, they want to check, it, heart check you, and see where you're at, you know what I mean? So basically, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta fight back, because if you don't, they're gonna be on you can't show weakness. What are you incarcerated for and how long is your sentence? Um, I got 16 years with three strikes. Um, my sentence was, uh, yeah, 16, 16, 16 years. Um, let's see. Um, 16 years. Was my sentence? How long was my sentence? Yes, sir. Well, 16 years. And, you know, what was the other question? Uh, what are you incarcerated for and how long is your sentence? Oh, okay. Um, I'm incarcerated right now for carjacking, ADW, and GBI. And how long have you been incarcerated? I've been incarcerated for six years now. Can you um, elaborate without incriminating yourself and others on the events that occurred that um, eventually landed you in prison? Um, a matter of fact, I didn't even do anything. I know it sounds crazy because a lot of people say that, but I always, if you look at my record, I always cop to the things I get busted for, you know what I mean? If I got caught red-handed, which I did on camera, I wasn't even doing nothing. I was shot at. I was at a wrong place, wrong time. Um, I'm not from San Diego, so I started living down San Diego, and I was on the streets. Well, long story short, I got, I got shot at. I jumped over the wall at a Channel 10 News and uh, went up to a car and I made my presence known and hit the back of the, the van and they told me to get in. I told them, look here, I'm being shot at, I need to use a phone. 
that's all I did, and I I, I got I got caught for kidnapping. Uh, they gave me kidnapping, carjacking, false imprisonment for something I didn't even do. I'm on camera. I'm on camera, and they totally ignored it. They ignored the camera thing. They ignored that 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 they did a cross examination, and she lied on all kinds of stuff. There was all kinds of inconsistencies, and it was just, it, she couldn't pick me out of a, a lineup. She said it was a Mexican with long hair, uh, with a mold. You know, and I, I asked her, "Why are you doing this?" I said, "This is my life, dude. I, I, I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to end up doing life for something you're lying about. Like all I asked you, I asked you for help. I, I made my presence known. I, that's not carjacking. All I was asking is for help, and they totally ignored me. And I got convicted for kidnapping, carjacking. Yeah, pretty bad. Um, the system's crooked. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, when you first went to prison and hit the main line, what was the mentality, bro? Um, fuck everything. Um, I want to I wanna earn my rockers, and I want to earn my rock and fucking become a homeboy. You know what I mean? Big homie. Um, I didn't care about nothing at the time because I was young and dumb. Um, but that mentality, I just wanted to, to, to feel, feel how it was to... to Basically, um, just, you know, they call upon you to do stuff, you gotta do it. I mean, there's no other way around it. You either do it or you get stabbed. So, I do what I had to do. I mean, and they liked that, so they kind of took me under your wing and, uh, let me, uh, you know, give me love and shit. And I just started putting work in. Were you ever involved in any riots? And um, if so, can you elaborate on what started the riot and also uh, who was it against? Over over race. It was over something to do politically um, as far as crossing through someone's um, walkway area and going to the phone that's not theirs. Well, rules are easy. Um, basically, you don't associate with other races. You don't um, you don't walk through the other people's areas. You keep it respectful, and you know, uh, basically, basically, it's common sense. I mean, you don't go and do and disrespect other races. You don't go and and. and uh, getting drug debts, that's a big thing because a lot of people get in drug debts right here and they can't, they can't, they can't pay for it. So that right there just gets them in a big wreck and they end up having to get off the yard. But before they do it, they end up getting stabbed or beat up or, you know what I mean? Um, it's just, just a couple people that they get together that want to put work in to earn the rockers. The rockers are letters from the area that they're from. And if they're ready, they either, if it's a bad, if it's something worth stabbing them, then he gets stabbed. But majority of the time, it's just two people and they remove the dude off the yard. They just beat him up. Okay. What do you have to say to the youngsters out here that's involving gang activity or thinking about joining gangs? Um, it's not worth it. Don't do it. If I could start over, I would. Um, it's not a lifestyle that you want. It's not something that I choose. To, I, I, I regret everything I did, and I, I, I just don't don't do it, man. It's not worth it. Throw your whole life away. Okay, I don't have any more questions for you, bro. But do you have anything else to address or add? Yeah, and uh, basically, I mean, it's this. You gotta. It's survival of the fittest. You gotta just do whatever you can, and, and and get your get your life right. Try to do whatever you can to stay stay alive. You know what I mean? It's it's, 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 a, it's a crazy little game that they play. Uh, dog eat dog world. You know? Uh, I don't I don't recommend none of it though. You have 60 seconds remaining. Uh, I just wanna uh, I just wanna uh, say say what's up to my my baby's mom Marie Winters. She's in Shasta, California. Um, and my daughter, Angelina, Michelle, and Sarah, um, I'm waiting to see you, baby girl. I love you, and keep your head up.